Enjoy four hours of continuous bedtime storytelling to help you fall asleep and stay asleep. You're listening to By the Sea, a collection of seven seaside sleep stories with ocean sounds. You may wish to take this moment to subscribe if you haven't already, so you may return to these stories in the future. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, think of my voice as that of a long-time trusted friend. I am your advocate for peace, serenity, and good sleep. In this busy world, know that your time before bed is sacred. You deserve to slow down and luxuriate in a mental holiday. So find some place where you may get cozy and snuggle. And you may enjoy the preceding brief talk down and meditation or skip ahead to the bedtime stories. The choice is always yours. The beauty of a vast sea is that it makes us feel small yet part of something limitless. And in that wonder, our problems shrink and our thinking changes. We ride on its serene waves and realize how much easier life becomes when we embrace fluidity and go with the flow. As you turn your attention to your breath, each inhalation and exhalation causes your body to rise and fall like the gentle waves of an incoming tide. This breath brings you home to the home within you where you are free to revel in the powers of your imagination. In your inner world, You are the one who decides what thoughts to keep and what thoughts to surrender and send out to see. Remember this. Should any undesirable thoughts interrupt your intentions for comfort and peace? Open your mouth and yawn. And then exhale in a sigh. Signal to every cell in your body that the sleepy holiday begins right now. When you are ready, inhale slowly through your nose. Pretend there is a silky mist in the air that carries the smells of the sea. Fill yourself with as much healing oceanside air as your body will allow. And then open your mouth and yawn. And sigh as you exhale. Every round of breathing becomes deeper and easier, and every cycle of breath makes you more and more relaxed. Two more times at your leisure, you inhale, yawn, and sigh. Your breath mimics the sounds of the ocean and allow it to become audible to enhance your experience. Your breath sends a message to your body that you are claiming this time for yourself. As you inhale, yawn, and sigh. And when you are ready, Return your breath to normal. 
more relaxed than you were just moments ago. Tonight you may island hop from tropical landscapes on the other side of the world to sea-kissed barrier islands in the North Atlantic. Customize every detail to what suits you as you are free to fall asleep at any point to the waves of slumber cascade over you. It's time for the stories to begin. Bali Bliss The winds of Bali are like no other. Their softness laced with tropical humidity brushes against your skin like soft kisses. The bright sun pours over the lush gardens of Bali Bliss, a sanctuary retreat along the coast. Bali is a deeply spiritual island, and the soulful Balinese Hindus believe in the souls of all things in nature. You feel connected to nature as you walk down a sandy path beneath the shade of palm fronds that rustle in the late afternoon breeze. The laughter of children playing in the street carries over the sounds of distant scooters and the songs of birds. On your walk to the beach, you come upon offerings to the gods in small palm leaf baskets that overflow with tropical flowers in hues of raspberry pink, marigold orange, and magenta. Tiny smoke trails from burning incense aromatize the air. Their elephant gray squiggles are ethereal and hypnotic. In Bali, each step brings a reminder to be grateful and appreciate the endless beauty in nature. The air is warm, but the breeze and shade offer a reprieve. You dress in breathable hand-sewn garments you purchased at a local market, where row upon row of vendors displayed vibrant fabrics and patterns, stone and bronze sculptures made by Balinese artists, and tropical fruits. The lightweight fabric gently billows and brushes against your skin like peacock feathers. Everything about your afternoon is soothing. Your heart rate and breath rate have slowed in this leisurely escape. Your nervous system is regulated and your intuition is on point. Deeply in tune with feelings of peace, stillness, and comfort. You know what you want and desire, away from the routine of modern life. Your inner voice becomes the only voice that guides your day. The sun-kissed waves appear in a clearing of the tropical foliage. You walk beneath a threshold layered with bright pink bougainvillea that pours down the trellis like luscious floral curls. The Bali Bliss Spa overlooks the sea and golden beach. A row of wooden cabanas spreads down the beach. The wooden frames glisten like copper in the sunlight, and elegant ivory curtains dance around them. A spa attendant named Anissa greets you with kind eyes and a maternal smile. She leads you to a changing room where you change into a linen robe embroidered with a spa's name. 
When you are ready, Anissa leads you to your cabana. She offers a tray of massage oils and you smell each one until you decide on the oil labeled Bali Dreams. A quick sniff from the eyedropper of oil carries notes of coconut and lemongrass that evoke pleasant images of tropical settings. She helps you onto the massage table and you look out on the vista as the sun lowers towards the sea. Anissa adjusts the headrest. You lower your face onto a soft terry cloth towel that covers the cushion. You close your eyes and your face muscles relax as you get more comfortable. You surrender to the moment and your body is perfectly aligned on the massage table. The susurration of the surf and the soft sound of Anissa rubbing her hands together with massage oil create a peaceful symphony. The sweetly balanced fragrance of the oil travels to your nose as her hands begin to work around your neck and shoulders. She adjusts the pressure to your liking and you feel her thumbs dig into places of tension at the base of your skull and around the lymph nodes in your neck. Your head becomes heavier and your jaw releases when her fingers massage around your ears. As she caresses your neck, you feel it become longer as your muscles relax. Each time her mending hands move across your neck and shoulders, your muscles and nerves become softer. You dig in a deep breath, once again met with the smells of toasted coconut and lemongrass. The salty air purifies your nasal passageways and you breathe with the ease of a sleeping child. The massage continues as the attendant runs her fists down your back and around your ribs. Her thumbs individually massage each vertebra as if her motions seek to ease a pearl out of an oyster, delicate and kind. You feel more space in your spine, now as open as the cabana through which the sea breeze wafts. She presses the base of her palms into your lower back and relieves tension from the many steps you have taken on your journey. Your skin feels warm and vibrant as the circulation increases. You drift in and out of consciousness as if experiencing a lucid dream. You imagine drifting along the Bali coast in a teal and orange fisherman's boat. You visualize yourself swimming in the lapping waves and then floating on your back, looking up at the blue sky. Sunlight shines through the sheer cabana curtains and pours over you like a warm blanket your legs become putty as each one of her fingers tends to them 
in circular motions. And then your feet become the focus. And Anissa presses her thumbs into your arches. You feel a deep release that travels up the backs of your legs and spine until pleasurable goosebumps cover your skin. She pays special attention to every nerve and tendon. You feel increased flexibility as her hands travel up and down and around your ankles. She interlaces her fingers between your toes and they spread out to claim all the space denied when enclosed in shoes. Your Achilles tendons release and your legs become as soft as the powdery sand on the Bali coast. Your body surrenders to a state of softness. And if someone were to lift your arm or leg, it would happily and carelessly flop back down onto the table. Anissa moves towards the top of the massage table and runs her fingers across your scalp. Her tender motions are like whispers that evoke a pleasant tingling sensation that travels down your spine. Her fingers increase the pressure they apply as she presses into your scalp, running them from your forehead to the base of your skull and then back. She goes back and forth in the tempo of the incoming and outgoing waves of the ocean behind her. This moment captures the harmonious connection to nature and a sense that everything right now moves in the same peaceful rhythm in a delicate dance. Her thumbs go behind your ears to trace circles that widen with each round. Her other eight fingers create a basket around the crown of your head and increase circulation in your scalp. She guides you to turn over onto your back and pats her fists softly down your shoulders and arms, down the sides of your legs, on the soles of your feet. Anissa then rubs your hands together between hers until they become warm. She threads her fingers between yours in a maternal, and assuring gesture. She releases them and squeezes your palms with encouragement and then places your hands atop one another on your heart. You inhale deeply and sigh. Gentle meditation music begins to play and Anissa leaves you in the cabana to savor and take in the experience. You listen to the soothing waves crashing against the shore and feel the gentle drop in temperature as the sun lowers towards the horizon. Your eyes flutter open and you stretch your fingers and toes, your arms and legs, and then rise. You wrap yourself in the linen robe 
and cinch the belt around your waist. The silky water is ablaze in the fiery light of the setting sun. The sky is the hue of molten lava with wide ribbons of pink, sunflower yellow, and amethyst. You remember how the island of Bali was created by volcanoes, and it's as if the blazing sky is there to remind the people on the island. Candles are lit in the center of wicker globes that hang from palm trees and lampposts. Anissa meets you and guides you up a set of spiral wooden stairs to a private terrace at the spa. A deep round tub made of charcoal gray volcanic rock is filled with warm water and bath salts. White and pink plumeria float across the surface of the healing bath. Candles line the perimeter of the tub and are scattered across the floor in glass and metal lanterns. The attendant leaves the room and you remove your robe and step into the luxurious bath. You carefully glide your body into the tub and lean back against the solid edge. Three Balinese hand-carved wood panels line the edge of the terrace. The artistic designs depict lotus flowers in the heart of each panel with elegant scrolls and diamond-shaped leaves etched into the red-brown wood. The sky darkens as twilight sets in. Anissa returns to the terrace with a wooden tray that holds some bowls, a brush, and hot wet towels for your facial treatment. She places a bath pillow behind your neck you close your eyes and relax. She puts a terry cloth headband around your forehead and then pushes it up against your scalp. Your body is light and floats and the water cleanses you of the massage oil. She cleans your face with a wet washcloth a brush spreads a honey and plumeria scented mask onto your face. It feels cool and slightly sticky as it cleanses and moisturizes your skin. The air loses the warmth of the day now that the sun has set and causes you to relish the bath water all the more. Anissa removes the honey mask with a plush wet washcloth soaked in rose water. She then applies a clay mask that opens your pores and removes impurities from your skin. Your pores feel as if they are twinkling like the stars in a Bali night sky. As she clears the dried mud mask with a rosewater washcloth, she moisturizes your skin with a slippery lotion and glides a jade roller over your forehead and softly over your eyelids. It rolls under your eyes and over your cheekbones. 
the jade cylinder runs down towards your jawline and then over your neck. Your skin feels soft, clean, and glowing. Anissa gathers her tools on the tray and the soft clanking sounds create an ambient soundtrack joined by the lapping waves and melodies of night birds and crickets. You linger in the bath a bit longer before slowly exiting and wrapping yourself in a towel folded in the shape of a flower. You walk barefoot on the sapphire blue floor tiles towards an outdoor shower surrounded by bamboo walls. Beneath a rain shower head, you rinse away the bath salts and wash your skin in handmade soap. As you cleanse yourself, you feel quite tired and more relaxed than you have felt in years. A crescent moon rises in the marine blue sky, freckled with silver stars. You look up at the Big Dipper. A shower water cascades down your scalp and a smile forms on your lips. Nature is at the center stage in Bali always. You turn off the shower and dry yourself and change into your clothes that Anissa neatly folded and left in a basket made from palms. You feel renewed. You feel like someone you remember from long ago. All the nourishment and nurturing have brought you back to yourself. Gratitude overwhelms you as you check out of the spa and thank Anissa kindly and charge the experience to your room. Nightfall turns the sanctuary into a different world. You walk beneath magical hanging lanterns on a stone path that leads to a koi pond. You float through the night air as if in a dream and playfully decide to walk on stepping stones that create a weaving walkway through the pond. The stones are made from lava rock with impressions of lotus flowers. There are gaps between each stone where plum koi swim and breach the water. Their bodies are dappled with orange opal and black patches that glow in the moonlight. You take your time and balance on each stone in the heart of the gardens. Stone statues that honor Hindu gods rise out of the water. As you walk, you feel as though you are gliding across a ballroom floor in the company of the deities. The moment is all at once foreign and inspiring and your perceptions expand in a way that only travel allows. You step from the final floating stone on the pond and do a patch of velvety grass. You walk through a lush garden of tropical purple and hot pink flowers towards a rectangular gazebo with a tiki-style roof. 
A white cat sleeps curled in a ball on a carved stone bench in the center of the dwelling. Tiki torches illuminate the path through the tropical fauna. Their flames dance and cast shadows on the wide waxy leaves of banana trees. The breeze kisses your clean skin as it whispers across the island of Bali. You follow a pathway that leads to a fountain outside your private villa. Trickling water creates a delicate melody met by the sounds of crickets and palm fronds swaying in the night air. Rattan sphere lights vibrantly painted in shades of pink, teal, green, and blue hang around the wood patio that leads to your suite. They provide a warm, inviting, and colorful glow. You pause and look out at the gardens, the koi pond, and the starry sky to capture each detail for your memory bank. Your eyelids close as you take in a deep breath and feel loved, pampered, and connected to the spirit of Bali. And while energy moves throughout your body, enlivened by your spa experiences, you feel even more connected to your spirit and things beyond the physical world. You don't think about it or quantify it. You simply look to the sky with a full heart and tap into the infinite majesty of the universe. Tiredness washes over you like a gentle wave as you walk into the open air villa. Bamboo ceiling fans circulate the air that smells like a medley of cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and coconut. The cathedral ceiling rises above a canopy bed with gauzy ivory mosquito netting that is tied neatly around the posters. You release the fabric from the bows and gather it around the bed like a cocoon. You change into complimentary pajamas made of silk left to you by the resort and run your finger across the embroidered words Bali Bliss. You peel back a soft blue-green duvet and the sateen top sheet and climb into the bed. The soothing hues remind you of the sea. Your head sinks into the plush pillows and you close your eyes, feeling as if you are drifting and floating in between your waking life and a dream. You feel content and grateful to have experienced the sacred island. You send Bali love for giving you all that you needed. 
You are brimming with peace, bliss, and fulfillment. Everything about this moment is soft and gentle. Cool sheets against your silky, nurtured skin and body. The lavish mattress as it contours to your body's curves and spaces. The light fragrance of your clean skin and the air fresheners of the Villa Suite will forever remind you of Bali. You relish the circulating air and your relaxed muscles, your lips, your face, all soft, calm, and ready to let go. This feeling of ecstasy and bliss carries you gently towards the open gates to sleep. The ornate doors have the craftsmanship of a Balinese artist and are very inviting. You float rather than walk and hover above the ground as you enter through them. You inhale and exhale as you cross to the other side where sleep and beautiful dreams are waiting. Drifting deeper and deeper down, getting closer and closer to sleep. Grateful for the feet that carried you across the island, one step at a time, to right now, to a moment where everything makes sense, where you are easily guided towards sleep and the restorative powers of the night and where bliss ushers you to the sweetest of dreams and brightest of tomorrows. And you may fall asleep or explore another island in the next bedtime story. The Stars of Sardinia There was once a passionate woman who spoke fondly of her childhood days spent on the beautiful island of Sardinia. She longed to return and always did in her mind. Sardinian dreams brought her to a simpler time where she connected to the ancient land and ran free in the breeze off the Mediterranean Sea. Her life prevented her from returning often but her endorsements were so persuasive that even strangers would book a flight or board a ferry to the island at her suggestion. And with her insistence, you too became enchanted with the land of ancient groves, wild hinterlands, jutting coastlines, and seaside villas. The stars of Sardinia shine beyond night sky showing up all hours in the twinkling eyes of kind souls, the magical flora, the shimmering waves, and the unexplainable magnetism of the island. The nurturing land is home to 4,000-year-old olive trees that are the oldest in the world. It is no wonder why trees would wish to endure and thrive in this paradise in the heart of the Mediterranean. 
mystery lurks in sea caves and ancient stone forts that trace back to the ancient Romans. Fifth generation fishermen, winemakers, and grape growers carry on the traditions of centuries. Removed from modern anxieties, they bring fresh fish and glorious wines to the villages of Sardinia. Artisans hand paint leather sculptures with ornate designs, and women weave baskets and straw hats atop stools scattered throughout the narrow stone streets of the towns. A sense of purpose and joy permeates the air. The Sardinians recognize that life is meant for pleasure. Like the olive trees, the people of this idyllic island live longer than most people on the planet. Lush bougainvillea flowers rain down the coarse stone walls of seaside villas and gates that scatter the limestone cliffs and rolling hills. The white, magenta, purple, coral, and fuchsia flowers add pops of color to a sprawling landscape of muted earth tones that meets the aquamarine waves of the sea and powdery blue sky. You wear sandals purchased from a local shoemaker. They are reminiscent of the gladiator footwear worn by Romans who once walked the same path you now explore. Your light linen attire protects you from the late afternoon sun and the fabric breathes enough for you to enjoy the reprieve from the sun offered by the sea breeze. Dried grass and granular stones crunch beneath your feet as you walk a secluded path among olive trees and hardy dark green shrubs. A thicket of pine trees lines a cove and aromatizes the air with a sweet, peppery, and minty fragrance. You reach a summit and inhale slowly, sipping in the pristine air like a fine wine. The air is as pure as the water below. You descend a stone staircase weathered by the salty air and time that leads to the powdery white sandy beach. When viewed from certain angles, the white sand takes on a soft peachy pink glow in the late afternoon light. No matter how deep one ventures, into the sea around Sardinia. The water remains as clear as aquamarine glass down to the ocean floor. The dreamy crystalline waters inspire the work of artists and poets, of dreamers and old souls who aim to live authentic and transparent lives with no limits to their depth. Rock walls protect the sandy beaches. These natural barriers give you a sense of safety as you navigate the sand. You find a spot on the quiet beach and set your bag and towel down on the fine sand. You slip your feet out of your sandals and remove your clothes to reveal your favorite bathing suit. Your skin is flushed from the walk and beaming rays of sunlight and the gently lapping waves beckon to you. 
you kick away the soft sand and it flies through the air like fairy dust and showers down on the land where wishes become reality. The silky water laps against your ankles, offering a tepid reprieve. You carefully walk around the moss-covered limestone rocks at the bottom of the shallow water. A school of tiny silver fish darts through the water like aquatic apparitions. They swim with such fervor, it is as though they were never there. The rocks of Sardinian beaches vary from pink granite to yellow and orange jagged stones that jut out of the earth like sculptures. They offer a sense of permanence that makes you feel safe. Sardinia is not going anywhere. You slip beneath the gentle waves and swim out towards a rock formation on a small island away from the coast. Sailboats dapple the calm waters with white sails fully extended against the backdrop of blue skies and sea. As you take a deep breath and glide your arms through the water in a breaststroke, you find this moment is perfect. A sublime escape in an imperfect world. Your senses are in tune and heightened. You hear the sounds of the sea lapping against the shore of birds flapping overhead, and the faint melody of a radio playing Italian bossa nova on a yacht where glasses clink as friends and family on holiday celebrate. You float on your back and look at the sky, awestruck and reminded of your smallness in this infinite universe. The idea soothes you. All problems and concerns are small compared to the magnificence around you. You surrender like a salmon in ivory-hued seashell that rides on the tide and drifts along the clouds of white sand on the ocean floor. And she becomes so quiet inside that you can hear your inner voice reminding you that this is why you came to this life to experience the world around you. In surrendering to this peace you feel parts of yourself returning to you. A smile forms on your lips and you taste the sweet salt water droplets. You remember what it's like to feel good in your body, healthy and vibrant. There is a dreamy softness to this moment floating atop the pure and cleansing aquamarine water. You look at your fingers as they dip beneath the waves and take on an aquamarine tint. The Mediterranean is a soul that soothes the deepest wounds and its glistening color stays with you. Whenever you see this light shade of blue in the years to come, you will remember this afternoon luxuriating in the healing sea. The sun lowers 
and a beacon of white gold light dances across the water and pours over you in a shimmering blanket of warmth. You surf the waves towards the shoreline and rise out of the water. You walk on the powdery sand. It massages and exfoliates your feet. You dry on the beach as the sun dips beyond the horizon in a salute to the ideal day. The revelers on the yacht continue to dance and dine, and their laughter carries across the water with another bossa nova tune. Their celebration is steeped in 1960s nostalgia, when international travel flourished and new sounds were brought to Italy. Yet throughout the island, Traditions have permanence, and centuries-old chants and folk songs echo out of the palazzos in the heart of villages. Rock formations and the winding path to the beach are cast in tangerine light. You dress and ascend the steps, and then take the winding path to the road where your convertible is parked. You settle into the small vehicle and drive on a road that weaves through rolling hillsides and forests on the way to your villa. You feel so free on this ride that brings a taste of summer's bliss with wind-swept garments and susurrations from the sea breeze. These whispers come from another time, encouraging you to enjoy the peace and serenity surrounding you in agreement with your inner voice. You round the bend towards your villa as the sun completely disappears beyond the horizon and a new world unfolds. Blazing magenta and orange streaks darken into a twilight sky in hues of amethyst and many blues from clear crystalline waters to sapphire skies. Sardinia shares more shades of blue than you have ever witnessed in your life. Passing moments may be counted by the ever-changing gradients of blue. On the property, olive trees rise out of the earth like sage old souls from fairy tales. The mythic trunks twist and reach for the evening sky with their gnarled branches that look like fingers grasping at the hollowed Mediterranean air. Their olives will be plucked and turned into liquid gold to be enjoyed during festive meals. In Sardinia, every meal feels festive. The night rolls on in a series of vignettes that offer soothing experiences. The cool terracotta tiles of the villa beneath your sand and salt-dusted feet. The lukewarm shower water as it pours on you and a gentle breeze blows through the windows that open out onto rolling hills and seaside cliffs. You lather yourself with homemade soap made fragrant with lemon oil procured from the abundant lemon trees and mixed with rosemary grown on the island. The smell conjures visuals of thick clusters of lemons that dangle from lemon trees 
in the fields outside your villa. Your soft, sun-kissed skin glows as you rinse away the Mediterranean and prepare for a soothing dinner and a night in nature. You dress for the evening in attire that you would only wear in Sardinia. You love these garments with all your heart, but they seem to fit better and represent the version of who you like to be on this adventure than they would ever fit into your regular life. You walk through the gardens on the property and along a centuries-old stone wall that Bougainvillea pours down in a waterfall of blossoms. The bright pink petals have a metallic luster from the rising moon that showers the island in opal light. The sounds of laughter and conversation become louder as you walk a mulch path to a dinner gathering hosted by the owner of the villa you rented. You enter a wooded area illuminated by antique lanterns strung across evergreen trees. A long farmhouse table weathered by time and jubilant meals overflows with a feast as abundant as those depicted in oil paintings that hang in famous museums. Tall candelabras hold dozens of candles that flicker on the summer breeze. You feel as though you are stepping into a storybook Everyone looks at you with kindness, and your face glows in the candlelight and radiates warmth and love in return. You join the party and listen to the animated dialect of locals and foreign languages from other international guests like yourself. The melodic tones of voices convey more than the lyrics of the conversations that unfold. You communicate through shared experiences and know that words in any language are hard to come by to explain the majesty of this moment. There is sensuality in this dining experience the whispers of the air on your tanned skin soothe you. The rustling of pine needles and the distant sound of the sea accompany the persistent calls of crickets. Strangers become family around the island treasures that have been harvested and prepared for the meal. Bottles of olive oil glow in the moonlight, glistening fresh fish and herbs pile onto generations old ceramic platters. The tomatoes and watermelons grown in nearby gardens are juicier and more flavorful than any you have had before. You may travel the world and think back to this time, wondering if any fruit or vegetable has ever tasted and felt as fresh as those on the dining tables in Sardinia. But then you also wonder if you are different in this Mediterranean paradise. Free from concerns, you are more perceptive of every sense and experience. There are no distractions 
to keep you away from the glorious tastes and feelings in this moment. You feel so content and satiated that you make a point to be more conscious and present to sensory experiences in your waking life. To notice the colors, the aromas, and the tastes that make life worth living. The clinking of glasses of local wine brings smiles and cheers and one toast after the next. The children run around the table chasing after fireflies, Mother Nature's fairy lights. Lunetta, a small pup belonging to the Bolognese breed, resembles a white powder puff as she chases after the children and barks excitedly. The air becomes cooler and a mist slowly moves in, covering the forest floor like mystical white gauze. Your tired eyes blear. And at one point, you imagine the presence of ancient Romans traipsing through the fog. You wonder if your simple pleasures in Italy are the same as theirs. A child boldly runs behind you and embraces you in a hug. The unfettered affection surprises and pleases you. Soon, all the children tug at your arms and encourage you to join them. Their infectious laughter echoes through the forest, just as the memories of this magical night will echo through your mind and return to you when you wish to feel blissful. The children tug your hands and lead you to a clearing on a hilltop overlooking the silhouette of olive and lemon trees and the glittering sea in the distance. Like you, they become silent and reverent by the beauty of the night. The children spontaneously lie down and sprawl out atop the hill to look at the stars. You follow their lead and position yourself comfortably on the pillowy grass, resting your head in your clasped hands. Lunetta makes her way around and kisses every child's face and then yours, taking advantage of the moment. She settles her tiny furry body against your legs. The youngest boy traces the stars with his index finger, as if the conductor of an orchestra. The stars seem to burn brighter, to form an outline that resembles Italy. A young girl traces the stars next, and a sailboat appears. You indulge them and trace the stars to depict Lunetta, and the children laugh when the real-life pup begins to bark. A crescent moon hangs in the velvety midnight blue sky, and to your tired eyes, the moonlight falls like silver beads of mercury. You feel somewhere between reality and a dream. There is no past, no future. There is only right 
now. Voices call out for the children to return home, and they scamper away with Luneta behind them. The villa owner cries out, Buona nota, as the party disperses. You wave and say good night. The remnants of the party will be cleared in the morning sun. But for now, everyone lazily returns home. You linger on the dewy grass for a moment longer and look at the sky. Feelings rise to the surface from deep within you and you make a wish on the stars. You reconnect with the wonder you may have felt when you were younger, when wishing on a star felt like a definitive act that could change the course of your life. You close your eyes, smile, and sigh. And beneath your breath, these words spill out. Grazie Sardinia. Thank you. You walk back to the villa through a rosemary field that has a relaxing effect with its aroma that is like pine wood and eucalyptus. You return to the villa, illuminated by gas lanterns in cast iron sconces. The flames cast the stone walls in amber light. For some unknown reason, you place your hand on the granular stone and feel its cool, coarse texture beneath your palm. You feel transported to another time. The stones share their story. In a wave of peaceful energy that flows through your arm to the rest of your body, you savor this moment, this portal. Sleepiness washes over you, and you open the heavy wooden door into the charming villa with stone walls and dark brown exposed wooden beams that hang across the ceiling. The shutters and windows open out into the night and from each room you may see the starry sky and Mediterranean. You enter the master suite and prepare for bed in the soft light of the moon. The four-poster bed is made of holm oak that once grew on the island. You peel back the quilted bedspread and the smell of the freshly laundered bedding dried in the sun smells of an Italian summer. You go beneath the crisp sateen sheets that feel cool against your skin, but still retains the heat from a day in the sun. The night breeze comes in from the windows and kisses your face to offer a similar reprieve as your head sinks into the plush pillow. The contrast is a loving reminder of the simple luxuries that make Sardinia an island that feels rich for everyone. Your mind wanders towards sleep the pleasures of this perfect day 
are like a sparkling patchwork cloak around you. These new experiences protect you and your mind. They validate that the world is a kind and magical place. The many stars of Sardinia now reside and shine within you. You close your eyes and begin to drift, sinking deeper and deeper down into a state of comfort so serene and enjoyable. You wish every day and night could be the splendorous. You inhale the sweet night air and sigh, comforted by the nocturnal sounds of this Italian paradise, floating again as you once did in the Mediterranean, this time across the bridge between your waking and sleeping life. knowing that Sardinia is always there for you, ready to welcome you as though you had never left. This thought brings you peace as you surrender to deep rest and remember the lady who told you to come to Sardinia and send her your gratitude. It lived beyond all expectation and helps you to let go. You may give in to the waves of sleep or let the ocean carry you to another island in the next sleep story. The Vineyard Find yourself on a ferry to the small island of Corchula, where a magical exploration of the rolling hills and a vineyard by the Adriatic Sea will bring you respite before you settle into a charming cottage for the night. It's time to dream away. You are aboard a sleek, white ferry boat that slices through the waves, bumping ever so slightly as you hold on to the balcony's railing. The midday sun hits you in brilliant golden rays, quickly drying the sea spray that has landed upon your exposed face and arms. You are wearing the most comfortable of attire that is lightweight and billows in the breeze. You feel light and carefree. You are accompanied by a close friend who has forever been the best partner for new adventures, for the most intimate of secrets and for the most raucous moments of laughter. Together you are able to be the fullest expressions of yourselves without fear of judgment. And perhaps this is a friend you have yet to meet and simply hope to someday have. But this friend is waiting for you in your future whether a friend imagined or a friend you know well, you meet each other's eyes and smile on this perfect day on your way to Corchula. Corchula is a Croatian island that lies off the Dalmatian coast. With centuries of Venetian influence, 
The island is abundant with olive groves and vineyards and is the sixth largest island of Croatia, home to the old town. As the ferry comes closer to the island, you see the walls and towers of old town. Designed with stones in the 14th century, there is a medieval feel as it looks like a fortress from afar. The center of town is designed like a fishbone as the streets fan out to limit exposure to the powerful Adriatic winds in stormy weather. The red tiled roofs of the cityscape are boldly saturated in the summer sun like flowing ceramic waves over white walled buildings. The contrast of the tiles to the white facades offers a feeling of clean purity. Other passengers begin to amass by the exit as the ferry pulls into the dock and travelers standing in the port wave and welcome the arriving vessel. There are small cafe tables that line a side street where people enjoy their Mediterranean lunches and glasses of local wine. The church bell begins to ring marking the two o'clock hour as the ferry's horn echoes through the harbor as the boat docks. You regain your balance and put your arm around your friend, feeling a mutual excitement for the exploration of Corchula that awaits, allowing all the other travelers to disembark first. You then walk down the metal stairs with your luggage in tow and exit the vessel. As you walk towards Old Town, you pass docked yachts and small white catamarans, noticing a few fishermen along the shoreline until you come to the bustling center of town. The sun is bright above and the happy sounds of fellow travelers' chatter is like a melody that sings above the gentle sound of the sea breeze that causes your hair to flow gently. Palm trees line the walk and rustle, creating shadows like tendrils of seagrass that dance upon the sidewalk. The stone buildings are quaint and with a historic charm that feels warm and inviting and trustworthy. You walk towards the cobblestone street to find a parked sea blue convertible with a local driver holding a piece of paper that reads your name. You approach the car as the driver greets you and takes your luggage, putting it in the trunk, welcoming you to the island. You and your friend climb into the back of the car, feeling the warm, cream-colored seat beneath you. The driver returns to his seat and starts the car taking off on the cobbled stone streets that are so narrow and full of tourists, you are surprised he's able to pass by. You are relieved to not be driving, as the tiny narrow streets appear more like sidewalks than roads meant for driving upon. But the beauty of a perfect retreat is that you can leave all the heavy lifting to someone else and just go with the flow. 
On the radio, you faintly hear an announcer speaking in Croatian, and it is a gentle reminder that you are on an island far away from your homeland. And yet you feel so comfortable winding around the charming buildings before the car comes upon a highway lined with a forest of pine trees. And you take in the scent of these evergreens inhaling and exhaling. The convertible is the only car on the road and it feels as if the island is solely yours for exploration. The road inclines upon hilltops, granting a far-stretching vista of rolling hills and the sapphire sea in the distance. The sky above is a powdery blue as wisps of clouds streak the sky like the wisps of your hair that take flight upon the breeze as the convertible accelerates. You feel vibrant and alive and an overwhelming urge to extend your arms above you and stretch opening your palms as your fingers try to touch the sky and the breeze hits you in splendor. Your friend does the same and you burst out into devilish laughter as it conjures memories of being brazen and bold together in the past. You are very much present and yet carrying the mood elevating memories of other vacations in your lifetime that left you happy to feel alive. The driver catches your eyes in the rear view mirror with a sparkle of amusement. He turns onto a side road that cuts through residential streets and homes surrounded by bone-hued stone walls that show their age. The idyllic setting is captured by schoolchildren running home in their uniforms. This village set away from tourists is a quiet slice of Korchula life. Shades of sapphire blue and aquamarine appear like swirling patches of a watercolor painting, courtesy of the Adriatic that may be seen from the road. And further down the coastline, you can see the body of water is bordered by pine forests rolling hills and low gray mountains may be seen on tinier distant islands. And again you smell the salinity of the air, marrying with a distinctly sweet yet sour smell of the vineyards you are driving towards. Homes become more sparse and the land is now occupied by grapevines, neatly aligned in rows. Buildings are a uniform white with red-brown roofs that create a harmonious and consistent visual. The driver turns on a narrow road that seems barely paved as you and your friend are bounced around in the back of the convertible in a gentle way. 
you hear the hum of the engine as the driver shifts down in gears and drives slowly on the road towards the winery. As he parks before the main house, the winery's dog comes running full speed to the car, barking playfully with a wagging tail. The driver exits to grab your luggage, and you and your companion exit the vehicle and welcome the loving energy of the pup. The sun has lowered. Now a deeper shade of honey that creates a golden aura over the rows of grapes. The owner of the winery greets you as he follows his dog with an energy that is larger than life. He is heavy set with rosy cheeks, his arms widely extending as if embracing life itself. And though there are language barriers, he's so easily able to communicate regardless with a twinkle in his eyes and his expressive face. You grab your luggage and say goodbye to the driver who waves to the owner as if they are longtime friends. You feel as if you are being passed off from one loving caretaker to another. You follow the winery owner up the stairs of a white building as he leads you to an outdoor veranda, gesturing for you to leave your luggage in a nook by the stairs. There is a long antique wooden table that could seat as many as 20 guests and he invites you to take a seat near two placemats upon which menus are placed. It feels good to be in the shade of the awning above. As you sit and look out upon the pristine landscape. In the distance, the alabaster steeple of a church juts out against the late afternoon sky and the Adriatic Sea that can be seen in the distance. You and your friend take a seat as the owner brings you both a glass of chilled water and a plate of fresh bread drizzled in local olive oil, still warm from the oven. It is so quiet and still. It feels as if you are the only people on the island. You cannot remember the last time you felt the sense of peace. You also feel connected to the past. Imagining the simple life on this land decades ago. Working in the fields and crafting wines that took generations to perfect and share with others. To be enjoyed at the most celebratory occasions in their life. It began with a generation of dreamers. And you take in the dreamy landscape of emerald green lush rows and the rusty brown dirt of the earth. The wisps of clouds still floating across the sky are like the white caps of the sea. And the sky is becoming deeper shades of blue like the sea below. As you and your friend 
relax. You trust the recommended tastings from the owner, and he brings you a selection of local favorites that meet your sensibilities. He is a man who lives a life of joy, and it radiates through his person and his pride for all that he has cared for in this life. And it is aspirational to see someone so perfectly well suited to his life and so passionate about everything. And you know that you too may pursue a life of passion with a path that is suited for you. It takes but a dream and the inner fortitude to carry it through. The sun is beginning its gradual descent, not far away from disappearing beyond the sea as a caramel glaze of light coats the green rows of vines and the ivory stones of the homes and the church of the village. The winery dog is asleep beneath the table and you imagine what a wonderful life it must be to roam free every day on this beautiful land. You take this moment with your friend to savor every sensation. From the taste of salty delicacies on your palate that match the hint of salinity in the air to the sensation of the gentle breeze on your skin. You savor the sounds and the energy of the place. You pay attention to the terroir and how it has shaped all you are able to experience. Savoring helps you to slow down, to be present, and to enjoy being alive. The sun now setting as the sky explodes in broad brushstrokes of raspberry and amethyst. The owner returns and offers to take you to your cottage for the night. He grabs your luggage guiding you and your friend down the steps of the veranda to a dirt path that winds around the main home to a secluded cottage on the property. You feel your feet connect with the earth as you feel so grounded beneath the twilight sky. Your friend looks to you and smiles, invoking a warm sensation in your heart center. And when you breathe in, you feel light. All tension in your body is gone. The cottage is centuries old like the other buildings on the island, built of white gray stone with a rusty roof, with a rusty red tiled roof. The owner leaves your luggage and wishes you both a wonderful night. You decide to explore the vineyard before settling into the cottage, as it will feel lovely to walk off a meal and all the travel 
of the day. You stretch your arms overhead and your legs feel good to be moving as you venture towards the rows of grapevines. A gentle breeze runs through the fields as you and your friend walk in contentment and in silence. The night sky above feels like a velvet midnight blue blanket covered in sparkling stars that has been draped around the earth in a warm embrace. And being among the loose dirt and the resilient vines of the property gives you a sense of inclusion. Grapevines retain memories of past growing seasons affected by the weather and challenges that arise. And similarly, you reflect the seasons of your own life. But just as you are given the freedom, like tonight, to immerse yourself in nature and something that is greater than you, you also have the ability to handle the seasons of your life. Choosing to connect with the most calm and beautiful adventures that this journey may offer. You hear the faintest sound of the sea crashing against the shoreline. A shoreline that has seen centuries of souls arrive to Korchula. You look to the stars and the silvery crescent moon that hangs over the sea. It feels magical and mystical as you continue to walk, feeling the cooler night's air against your face. Fireflies glide on the breeze their vibrant neon yellow pops of color appear throughout the silhouette of grapevines. Smelling the earth below you and the aroma of grapes that have fallen to the ground, you pick one up and feel it between your fingers, thinking of the wondrous evolution it can take in a lifetime, from seed, to vines, to grape, to wine. It has a full arc to its life story, just as there is a full arc to your own life's story. You stand in stillness, and look out towards the illuminated ivory steeple and the other golden lights that illuminate the scattered stone homes of the town as everyone is getting ready to bed down for the night. And you look to the seemingly endless stars and you make one wish for yourself. You think of something you most want to add to your life story and imagine that these stars above may grant you that wish. As you close your eyes and just feel what it is like to be here right now standing strong in the night 
on a perfect and magical day that was dedicated to exploration and to finding bliss and to sharing joyous experiences with others. You and your friend start to feel quite tired and so you return back to the charming cottage. You come upon the heavy wooden door and open it, welcoming the coolness of the stone room. A small lantern is aglow on a bedstand between the rustic antique wood-framed beds. Closing the doors behind you, you and your friend take turns preparing for a night of sleep. You wash your face and brush your teeth in the simple bathroom, enjoying the cool, fresh water that comes from a well on the property. You change into a set of cotton pajamas and go to your bed, pulling back the soft blanket and sheets that have been freshly laundered and dried in the sun. And you can feel the energy of the bedding as if the act of drying in the sun on the island of Corchula has brought this feeling of simplicity and good health. And you relish how the simplest of things bring such pleasure and comfort. Your friend also goes to bed and you wish one another good night. Equally thankful to have a companion for this trip and for this life. Your lids fall heavily upon your tired eyes as you let go and surrender, going down, down, down to a night of healing dreams after a day that has been warmed by the sun and the beauty of Cordula, you are free to let your imagination create a canvas of peace and harmony, surrendering to sleep or drifting on the words to come in the next bedtime story for grown-ups choice as it always has been and always will be is yours. Sea Glass Beach. You find yourself nestled within the seat of a train. You peer out the windows as you pass by marinas and coastal towns. The summer sun is high and white gold sunbeams pour through the window onto your exposed arms and face. The warmth contrasts the steady stream of air conditioning that flows through the train car. You rest your head against the cool glass window and are lulled by the chugging of the train on the tracks. The soft vibrations and occasional bumps along the journey rock you back and forth. The short ride is the beginning of a new adventure. And new adventures are known to stimulate creativity, boost concentration and memory, and improve one's health. It's been some time since you've taken an adventure like this you find you are more aware of every detail that surrounds you. The floor of the train is a shade of scarlet and decorated with dots of yellow and white and blue 
as if a painter took a brush full of paint and shook it in the air. The vinyl seats remind you of red licorice. The interior of the train seems more appropriate for a roller skating rink from decades past. Something about its candy-inspired and childlike design reminds you of adventures to amusement parks as a small child. You deserve a field trip now more than any other time in your life. Most of the seats are unoccupied. It is a work day for most people and you are going in the opposite direction of commuters. For much of the journey, you have had the train car to yourself before the occasional interaction with a conductor you have known for quite some time that you deserve and need a break. Your priorities and things beyond your control seemed to delay your deep need for exploration and joy. On the treadmill of life, you lost sight of the aliveness and connection to the present moment comes when you do something for the sake of personal enrichment. Rumi believed when you do things from your soul, you feel a river moving in you, a joy. On this unexpected journey, you hope for the warm flow of joy to course through your veins with the abundance of the summer sun. You long to enjoy these fleeting golden moments of summer. You wish to collect them like sea glass and seashells that will remind you of the beauty of the season. It's often easy to care for others and be generous with those you love, but it is not always so simple to give that same level of care and attention to yourself. Now you are. Loved ones recognized your need for a break and thus began a fortuitous string of events. Through written exchanges, a friend of a friend introduced you to a kind man named Nathaniel and you became pen pals. For all his life, he has lived in a coastal town known for its peace and tranquility. Out of the blue, he offered to take you on his boat to a magical sea glass beach. It seemed a bit daring at first, but your intuition was like a soothing whisper encouraging you to board the train and give it a go. The train slowly pulls into the station and the brakes quietly grind and squeak as it comes to a stop. You stand and depart the train and feel the humid wave of summer air cover your body. Your legs are still cool from the air-conditioned train and you welcome the warmth the train station has a picturesque waiting room built over a century ago with a charming stone facade. A handful of locals depart the train and you see your new friend pulling up near the platform in a truck with two black dogs seated in the back. He walks towards you, confident and with kind eyes and extends his hand to shake yours. You feel like you've met before and he enthusiastically exclaims how much he enjoys sharing the beauty of the seaside town with others. His hospitality is like that from another time where the world seemed safer 
and more kind. You open the door and climb into the passenger seat as old rock music softly plays over the hum of the motor. You ride along through the quaint main street where visitors and locals enjoy lunch outdoors. You pass by boutiques that sell seaside knickknacks and homemade chocolates and candles. At the end of the main street is a marina where Nathaniel parks the car. He motions for his dogs to follow behind and grabs a cooler from the back of the truck. You hop out of the car and your feet land on the hot blacktop of the parking lot. Standing in the marina in the summer heat conjures flashes of memories, melting soft serve ice cream cones, summer picnics, parades, and beach days. Nathaniel introduces you to his pups named Bella and Luna. The dogs run towards the marina's dock, jubilantly racing you both there. The dock creaks beneath your feet and you find your balance. The main dock leads to a narrow dock where Nathaniel's boat awaits. You follow behind. The dogs hop onto the main deck out of a lifetime of habit and Nathaniel boards before offering to help you as well. You find your way to a seat on the deck and sit down. The dogs curiously stand, one on each side of you, with their tails wagging and their faces erupting in panting smiles. Nathaniel takes care of the boat and carefully guides it past sailboats and catamarans that are docked in the harbor. He navigates wordlessly and the sound of the boat's motor and seagulls crying out overhead accompany your journey into the tidal estuary. The air smells of salt and mineral rich earth in this place where ocean water and fresh water meet. You lean back into the seat, surrendering to each soft bump and undulation and watch the wake created in the sapphire blue water. The breeze is tepid and carries a cooling mist that offers reprieve from the heat on land. For the first time in this adventure, temperature is absolutely perfect. Every part of your body is relaxed and at ease. You had no idea how much tension you were holding until this very moment in time. Your muscles feel like soft clay. Your body becomes moldable and slack in the seat as you surrender to the experience of being on water. Free of thought, your silent mind surprises you. It's as if a switch is turned off. If any thought were to come up, it would simply pass you by like a white puffy cloud drifting before the sun. You forgot how easy it is to simply be. The boat steers by an old lighthouse painted in black and white stripes. Nathaniel slows down the vessel and the pups run towards the bow. They stand erect like statues as if guardians of the boat. You notice the orange corrosion at the base of the lighthouse and your new friend explains how the village is auctioning off the structure. For a moment you imagine living in this lighthouse, so far away from the noise of the world. 
quietude appeals to you. Nathaniel continues on his course, and you pass by islands covered in lime green grass that grows tall in the summer months. A rustic gray beach cottage occupies a smaller island, and a long narrow dock rises out over a sandbar from the property. In the near distance, you see the beach that Nathaniel touted. The sea glass glitters like gemstones in the afternoon sun. The boat comes to a stop and the motor quiets. The anchor splashes into the water in a clumsy plop. To inhale once again, Nathaniel removes a sandwich from the cooler along with your favorite drink and snacks. For a moment, the wave of gratitude is so much that you are speechless. He paid attention to every detail and receives the same pleasure in being generous that you have felt when doing kind things for others. But this time, the moment has been curated to make you feel good so that you need not worry so that you may simply enjoy the experience you and Nathaniel finish eating completely satiated you take one last sip of your cold beverage and feel it glide down your throat and refresh you your new friend removes a paddleboard from the starboard and places it into the lapping marine blue waters. He explains how you may use it to get to Sea Glass Beach and helps you balance on it before handing you a paddle. He removes a second paddleboard from the other side and places it in the water. Luna and Bella hop on instinctively before he boards. Together, you set out towards the shoreline. Your legs are strong. As you stand and balance, you feel the strength in your core with each gentle twist as you dip the paddle into the water. You look out to see a sailboat in the distance Water droplets land on you, and the gentle summer breeze quickly dries them. Together you arrive at the shore, and Luna and Bella hop onto the beach and begin to run. You softly crash against the sand, and Nathaniel helps you off the board. He tends to anticipate any concern you may have before you have it. You step onto the sea glass covered beach and the smooth colorful glass softly rattles and clacks with each step. Nathaniel sets off after his dogs and invites you to come along, but you are drawn to the quietude of the beach and wish to remain. He vows to return at sunset, leaving you to enjoy the last hours of sunlight. He disappears behind a grass-covered dune, and you remove your shoes and walk in the gentle surf. The water is cool and flows over your feet and the turquoise, mint green, and sapphire blue sea glass that scatters across the beach. Each step is like an acupressure massage on the soles of your feet that have walked more steps in this life than you could ever quantify. You find your balance in the current and relish the silky water as it glides between your toes and up over your shins. The sun is hot 
and more intense on land than on the deck of the boat. You decide to go for a quick swim to cool off. You strip down to your bathing suit and leave your shoes and clothing on a pile of salmon and ivory-hued seashells on the shore. Without hesitation, you run into the gentle surf and dive into an incoming wave. The water is cool enough for your breath to catch momentarily in a way that reminds you that you are alive that you are a life force. So grateful for the capacity of your lungs and heart that now beats strongly against the ebbing water, you swim along the shoreline. It takes a lap before your body adjusts to the cool temperature. Your scalp tingles droplets of salty and mineral-rich water flow down your face and neck. Your arms cut through the cerulean waves as you turn over onto your back and simply float. You look to the baby blue sky and a seagull flies overhead. Its marigold yellow beak and gray-edged white wings contrast the sky. You wish you could float forever in this place. You wish you could feel this free and untethered from responsibility more often. Deep down, this is what you envisioned life should be feeling alive and content and in tune with nature and the beauty this planet has to offer. This is the rich experience you have longed for. Before the last of the afternoon slips away, you return to the sea glass beach you walk out of the water and find a place to lie down and dry in the sun. You carefully lower yourself atop the bed of smooth sea glass, mindfully setting each vertebra onto the beach like a string of pearls. The smooth beach glass pieces act like a stone massage. You are set in the heart of a natural mosaic of turquoise, opal, teal, amber, forest green, bubblegum pink, and lavender sea glass. The glass was made from sand served its purpose before breaking down and being smoothened over time to experience a homecoming back to the beach. You feel a similar homecoming, back to the barest and most basic experiences of being alive, surrounded by sunlight water, and beauty. All your needs are met. Your nerves are soothed by the water. Their frays are now as smooth and cool as blue sea glass. Your feet and hands wiggle in the warm and smooth beach glass. They travel between your toes and fingers, massaging you and causing goosebumps to pop up along your arms and legs. You pick up a piece of sea glass in your favorite hue and bring it to your eye like a looking glass. The world is now saturated in the glass's hue. 
This moment reminds you of how easy it is to change your perspective when you desire. You place the glass on your heart and remember the feeling of self-love and love that has carried you through this day. You close your eyes and breathe in the rich, fragrant air from the estuary. You feel the soft breeze dry your skin and hair. Your hair has a soft crunch from the remnants of salt from the water. Your sun-kissed skin radiates heat. You lose track of time listening to the lapping waves as the sun begins its descent towards the horizon. You open your eyes and the sky is now awash with pastel pinks and lavenders and streaks of magenta and deep purple. The sun has transformed from white gold into a fiery orange hue that reminds you of molten lava. The puffy white clouds of the earlier afternoon are now replaced with wisps of angel hair that slowly dance across the sky. You sit up and the sea glass on the beach begins to glow in this new light. The sea glass is like pastel hard candies glowing from within. When the last rays of sunlight shoot through their centers, you notice the unique shapes. Some are like thick coins, while others are like tiny eggs. You aren't just collecting sea glass. You are also collecting moments and memories. For when you return home, these glass pieces will be placed in a glass mason jar as a reminder of this perfect day. Your swimsuit is dry and you rise to put on your summer shoes and clothing you feel a thin layer of salt on your skin, a reminder of the invigorating swim you enjoyed hours ago. Just as the sun disappears beyond the horizon, you hear the jingle of dog tags and see Bella and Luna running towards the paddle boards. The tide has gone out and more sea glass is exposed in the wet sand. Nathaniel waves and you walk towards him. It is bittersweet to say goodbye to this island and magical beach. Days like this often serve as the greatest of reminders that even in the hardest of times, there is still beauty and joy that await you. There may be times you wonder if you have experienced it all, but today serves as a refresher that there are always more adventures to be had and better days to come. Nathaniel moves the boards so they float on the water he helps you return to your paddleboard before standing on his own. Bella and Luna swim alongside the board and eagerly paddle towards the boat. The horizon is a vibrant shade of peach and the sky is now blue as the full moon begins to rise. The water ripples in small waves like a navy blue silk sheet. You balance on the board and dip the paddle into the water. The temperature has dropped come nightfall and the air is less humid. You paddle to the boat and the pups have beaten you and Nathaniel. He helps them onto the stern and tethers his board 
before he hops on as well. He then brings you in and you stand on the stern placing your hand on the motor to balance. Wordlessly you help one another like old friends or family members as you secure the paddle boards and paddles. Your arms slightly burn in a pleasing reminder of all that your body has accomplished today. You feel deep appreciation for the miraculous feats of your muscles and organs and the pleasure they enabled on this day of adventure. The pups go to the bow and shake off the droplets of water from the sound that is on their coats. Nathaniel reels in the anchor and prepares the boat to return to the marina. You lie down across a plush towel he draped on a bench for you and stare up at the sky. As the boat begins to speed through the water, you look to the stars that begin to appear like faded silver freckles on a velvety indigo sky. Your eyes begin to close and you begin to drift. You inhale and then exhale. And once again, feel you are riding on your exhale through time and space. You travel between worlds, wondering if this was all just a dream. The moment on the boat at night becomes like a cinematic overlay to your experience of being nestled safely in your bed in the sanctuary of your room. The relaxing, soothing experiences blend into one as if you are existing in two places at once. The full moon shines brightly above the glittering water and the boat undulates and vibrates, rocking you to sleep. Come morning, you may look to your bedstand, curious about the mason jar of sea glass, your collection of moments that will carry you through a new day with a sense of adventure. You may fall asleep or let my voice carry you to another seaside escape. The Salt Cave In this sleepy time adventure, you travel to a secret island with a pink salt cave where special guests come for deep healing. At sunset, you walk atop powdery pink sand beneath cotton candy skies. You take a swim in the turquoise sea and float in the tepid waters until twilight sets in. The tide gently returns you to the shore. You follow a path of tiki torches that lead to a pink salt cave. You step into the magical cave that has been turned into a sanctuary for healing and rediscover the essence of you. You come to a luxurious bed within the cave that overlooks the starry indigo sky and aquamarine waves and fall asleep. It's time to dream away. You imagine there is a glowing Himalayan salt lamp that is placed on a nightstand near your bed. The light is low and a deep shade of salmon pink. You run your hands along its exterior. You close your eyes and the light begins to glow more brightly, like an invitation to something more. Picasso once said, everything you imagine is real. It is with these words that your journey to the secret island 
and healing pink salt cave begins. Your bare feet walk on the finest powdery pink sand you have ever seen. The soft grains sift through the spaces between your toes, warm and soothing. The sun is a glowing magenta sphere, slowly lowering towards the horizon and casting the island in the romantic light of golden hour. The bright blues of the sky transform into shades of soft pinks, daffodil yellow, and lavender as the sun lowers. The tide comes in and there is something magical about the crystalline turquoise waves as they cascade over the flamingo pink sand. A gentle breeze causes your soft linen pants and shirt to billow like fluttering butterfly wings. And in the rose gold light of sunset, your ivory fabrics appear to be soft pink. In fact, your entire body is covered in a pink glow. You relish the feeling of the cool breeze as it travels through the woven fabric that breathes so well in this warm climate. You stretch your arms over your head and direct your heart towards the sun. Your chest expands as you inhale and feel the last light of the day on your sternum. It is warm and powerful. It reminds you of the warm and powerful feelings that come from love and self-care. And in a moment of gratitude for this beauty in the land of pinks and soft blues, you send love back to the sky and sea and sun. It feels as if you are bound by a continuous exchange of warmth and healing. You feel safe, cared for, and connected to something that is both a part of you and yet expansive beyond your imagination. You watch the sun dip behind the sea, and you walk to the water's edge. The water is as warm as a lukewarm bath, and it gently laps over you in wide, slow-moving waves. The sea foam is like peachy pink lace on the edge of rippling aquamarine silk. You bend down to place your hands in the sea and watch the water cascade through the spaces between your fingers, massaging the small webs between each digit. The simple act feels so soothing. You are free from any distractions. It is just you and the sea, the sky, the sand, and the pastel pink and lilac clouds that cover the sky like thinly stretched tufts of cotton. Faint at first, the visual becomes more clear, and you notice a pink rainbow has formed in the clouds. Colors of the red spectrum refract in the sunset sky, and the rainbow is comprised of shades that remind you of cantaloupe slices, raspberries, pink carnations, and bubblegum. The color pink symbolizes self-love and nurturing, and tonight is all about your journey toward self-care and healing. You are the lead in the story of your life, and tonight's pages are about finding the moments that offer peace and flowing through them. You look out to the sea as the last magenta light of the day slips beyond the horizon. For a moment, you see yourself floating on the water in the distance. Your 
face looks serene and at peace. You feel a tug urging you to join the serene version of you that is full of grace and beauty. You walk into the sea and it rises to your knees and then your hips and waist. The water is tepid and calming and there is no need to acclimate. And when you reach the serene vision of yourself floating on this perfect water, you come together and float as one. You look to the pink sky and see a faint crescent moon. It delicately hangs in the air like a slender earring. Now a shade of metallic peach and understated, it will brighten as twilight arrives. The faded hint of a moon in this in-between, this time of transition, gives you peace because you know what is to come. At times in your life, you may find these glimpses these small signs of what is to come. And the knowing confirms you are going in the right direction. It opens you to what you desire and need. The faded crescent moon is a reminder of the preludes that life brings when walking on land and transitioning between steps. Your foot is suspended in the air, and yet you know with certainty the ground will be below to catch it. It's not even a thought you may have. You simply step, and with time the bigger transitions in your life may bring you the same confidence and peace as you look for the preludes along the way. You float on the water, surrendering to each new wave. Undulating, your muscles soften, and your breath matches the tempo of the sea. Each deep inhalation helps you rise on the surface, and with each sigh, your belly dips beneath the turquoise water and sinks ever so slightly. You lose track of time and close your eyes. The sounds of the lapping waves silence your mind in a lucid dream where anything is possible. Floating, flying, drifting, your linen clothing spreads across the water's surface like gossamer. You feel a state of pure bliss. The air begins to cool and you slowly flutter open your eyes. The pastel skies are now a shade of indigo blue. The once pastel skies are now a deep shade of indigo blue. The horizon glows in lavender light. The crescent moon now beams brightly and reflects on the aquamarine waves. The tide slowly delivers you to the shore and you rise out of the water. You walk towards the powdery pink sand and your fabric drips on the shore. It's heavy with seawater for a few seconds and then it magically dries. You see the droplets evaporate into the night air, rising above you in iridescent blue droplets that twinkle like the stars that cover the night sky. Towards the north, tiki torches are lit on the beach the flames flicker and dance on the ocean breeze 
and beckon to you. Your inner compass, deep in your gut, feels a tug and confirmation that you are meant to go in this direction. The surface of the sand retains the warmth of the day, but deeper down the powdery grains are cool and soothing. With each step, your feet kick up sand that surrounds you in a glittering cloud that falls back on the beach like rain. You walk alongside the tiki torches, and they rise as high as your knees and bask your bare shins in a warm amber glow. They lead to a bonfire in the center of the beach Firelight causes shadows to dance on the entryway of a salt cave. The amber light saturates the pink salt interior of the cave. You walk towards the entryway and it reminds you of a tree hollow. You duck low and walk into the healing cave. Stalagmites rise out of the floor with pointed pink tops that appear like the turrets of stone castles, teeming with mysticism and beauty. You inhale deeply and can feel and taste the fine dust of the salt in the air. The salt of the cave is known to help with breathing, relaxing, and to soothe inflammation. The salt crystals in the air are not visible to the naked eye, yet you can feel the air has changed. With each step, the crystals float around you and softly land on your skin. Your skin tingles and becomes enlivened with a sense of freshness and reinvigoration. Calm, centered, and curious, you radiate a pink glow. On the surface, the glow may appear to come from the hues of the salt cave and candlelight. Yet deep down, you can feel the glow permeating your body and healing you. The interior of the cave is illuminated by rows of candles that have been laid out by the keepers of the sacred respite. You walk deeper and deeper into the cavernous dwelling, feeling welcome and calmer with each step. You run your fingers over the ridges of the formations and are particularly drawn towards the pink salt walls that are translucent and as slick as glass. You come to the heart of the cave and discover a vibrant pool of salt water that is the color of cherry blossoms. Stalactites hang overhead like icicles in the shades of pink ballet slippers and morganite. You walk towards the pool of water and sit on the cool, damp cave floor. You ground yourself in this healing cave by closing your eyes and feeling all the parts of your body that connect to the salt floor. You take in a deep breath and sigh and open your eyes. Your intuition urges you to dip your index finger into the salt pool. Your finger creates ripples that begin to swirl around like a pinwheel. The pool sparkles, and in place of your reflection, 
you see an earlier moment in your life that you hold dear. In this beloved memory, you are doing something meaningful. It is a moment that gave you deep joy and a sense of fulfillment. It invites you to remember the parts of yourself that you love most, that you cherish, that time and time again has reminded you of who you are, the essence of you that remains unchanged throughout time. Your lips form a smile. Perhaps it has been some time since you last remembered how precious your gifts are and how much you have to offer yourself and the world. But now those parts of you are luminous. They deliver a sigh of contentment that flows through your body and waves as gentle as the turquoise sea. You are okay. You always have been. Even when your thoughts are flurries of doubts, there is an underlying certainty that lies deep within you, just as the healing that lies deep within this magical cave. You have the power to tap into that healing and self-love. You deserve to feel loved and cherished. And in this moment, you take a breath and feel this love in the bountiful pink light of the salt cave. The salt that remains is but a memory of higher tides of ocean water that gradually evaporated and drifted away. The sea's essence remains in salt pillars and cave walls. And it is why the salt cave reveals your essence to you. You begin to feel quite tired. Your muscles have the sensation of being both enervated and relaxed. You rise to your feet and follow the path through the cave that wraps around. You hear the sounds of the sea becoming louder as you follow the U-shaped pathway that leads you to the other side. Along the way, you admire the pink walls and intricate designs that look like rose quartz and pink diamond jewelry. You run your hands along the rugged edges and watch as some of the pink salt dances through the cave like rosy moon dust. As you round the curve of the cave, you come to another opening. In the heart of this entrance is an ivory four-poster bed that is made rosy by the surrounding glowing salt. A plush mattress sits in its frame and is covered with a puffy white duvet and faux fur pillows. On the end of the table next to the bed, you find a basket of goodies and a note addressed to you from the mysterious keepers of the cave. The handwritten message appears on homemade stationery with tattered edges and pressed flowers within the fibers. You run your finger over the delicate texture Trace your name before reading. Welcome. This is your time to heal, feel good, and sleep deeply. We are so glad you are our special guest. 
and hope you find all the peace the salt cave may offer. Beneath the letter, you discover a small bouquet of lavender that you bring to your nose and inhale the sleep-inducing aroma. The dried flowers are wrapped in a ribbon tied around a piece of rose quartz. The healing pink crystal looks like the walls of the salt cave and carries with it the healing powers of unconditional love. The basket contains another gift neatly wrapped in a similar ribbon and a larger piece of rose quartz. You untie the ribbon to discover a pair of silk pajamas that are embroidered with your name on the front pocket. You change out of your linen attire that now feels slightly crunchy and carries the aroma of the dried sea and put on the luxurious pajamas. You hold the rose quartz in your hands and feel them vibrating and soothing you as a warm feeling begins to flow out of your heart. You set them down on the bedstand as tiredness takes over, and you feel your body becoming heavy. There's a dining table near the entry of the cave, and you see a glass pitcher of a soothing mint tea that has been steeped to the perfect temperature. You walk over and pour the tea into a cup. Take a sip and feel the mint tingle on your tongue. The liquid cascades down your throat and you feel it softly land in your belly and soothe you. You look out the cave and see the gleaming crescent moon and stars. Their celestial light reflects on the gently flowing waves of the sea beneath the entry of the cave, you feel safe and cozy. You walk towards the bed and peel back the heavy duvet. You pull yourself up into the high bed and sink into the cloud-like mattress. The pillows and bedding contour to your body and you feel fully supported. Every nook and cranny in your body is met with gentle support. The candles begin to burn out and thin trails of smoke snake towards the cave ceiling. The cave is dark and quiet before the soft opal moon glow and gentle lapping sounds of the sea. As you close your eyes, you begin to imagine feeling this deep self-love throughout every day. You imagine a life where every morning you awaken and love yourself for who you are and the entirety of all your perceived blessings and challenges in all your perceived faults and goals. You love the entirety of you. This feeling allows you to flow with the same grace you felt when floating in the sea at sunset. You imagine loving yourself no matter what choices you make and no matter what outcomes come of them. For you are here, always learning, exploring, and growing, because all is okay, and you so very much deserve the deep healing sleep that awaits you in this cave. 
you inhale and exhale. As your breathing takes on the pattern of a gentle tide, your chest rises and falls, ebbing and flowing. A wave of healing energy travels in the salt-rich air. From head to toe, it relaxes you. Every muscle relaxes. Every joint and bone in your body surrenders. Your body is so relaxed and slack that if one were to lift a limb, it would quickly fall back into the comforts of the plush bedding. You feel yourself sinking and drifting towards sleep, towards peace. You once again see the aquamarine waves cast against the sherbet-hued skies of sunset and the powdery pink sand. The colors soothe you once again, reminding you that life is beautiful. Fire Island Nights There is an island along the eastern seaboard of the U.S. that is judgment-free, where everyone is accepted to come and be all expressions of themselves. There is harmony and an imaginative spirit that flows like a band of light energy through the winding boardwalks that weave between dream homes and lush fields of bamboo, sea oats, and feather reed grass. So find a place to get cozy, cuddle up, and luxuriate in the story at the end of the day. You are atop a roof deck on the most magical island along the eastern seaboard of the United States. The dog days of summer have arrived as you rest in a hammock, swaying to and fro and looking out upon the narrow barrier island. You can see the ocean to the south, and the bay to the north, as your home is nestled in the heart of the island. Cars are prohibited, and this lends a silence and safety and remote feeling that you welcome. The sky above is a shade of cornflower blue as you look out on the long stretches of wooden planks that comprise the boardwalks. These boardwalks are the channels elevated high above the sandy earth that weave through homes that have oversized windows that give portraits of the luxurious lives of the dwellers on the island. From the roof, you watch the incoming travelers with their luggage rolling down the wooden planks. The sound is like a gentle rhythm section played upon the soothing sound of the ocean crashing upon the shore. And you are taken into a deeper sense of relaxation. And the only way to arrive to this island is by ferry, making it all the more exclusive and remote. The sun is beginning to set over the bay and a day of sunshine and swimming in the ocean 
has left you with a thin layer of sand and salt that coats your body. You are adorned in a swimsuit that has dried since you rode upon the cresting waves, going with the flow of the tide for hours beneath the afternoon sun. A cool breeze blows off the Atlantic as bamboo sways in a gentle shush. Your body melts into the netting of the hammock and you find yourself more and more relaxed as the sun travels towards the horizon. Like a ball of lava, this tangerine globe illuminates the sky. The island is coming to life and you have 360 degree views that allow you to see dozens of homes where couples and groups of friends are grilling food on their decks and playing music. It's like a portal through a different era where dinner parties with multi-courses and candlelit dinner tables were normal occurrences. You have a prime vantage point to witness the theatrics all around you with the softest sounds of laughter and joyous interactions that are carried upon the sea's breeze. Wisps of clouds are like freshly spun cotton candy that float atop a canvas of magenta, purple, and bright orange brushstrokes in the sky. The sky reminds you of sweet confections like rainbow sherbet and oversized lollipops with pastel swirls. You are surrounded by a feeling of love, community, and beauty. And even while in solitude, you are plugged into the magical sensation of belonging. Because those who come to this island can flaunt whatever flair they have. When passengers leave the ferry, it's as if they are invited to showcase the boldest and quirkiest parts of their personalities. But every expression stems from love. And whatever passions or desires people may come with, they are supported and nurtured by the energy of the island. Watching as the sun dips further and further down, you enjoy the nip in the air. Even on the hottest of days, the disappearance of the sun brings a chill to the air off the ocean that is welcome after the scorching heat of the sand that meets the daylight hours. That is welcome after experiencing the scorching heat of the sand in the prime daylight hours. The sky begins to darken as if a marine blue stage curtain has been pulled across the rainbow pastels of sunset, upon which the stars begin to appear. The saffron yellow moon is full and high above the ocean. As the homes surrounding you are aglow with colorful lights and artwork, the creativity of each individual to come to this island is expressed in each home's design. But consistently in all the homes, there are floor-to-ceiling windows 
that allow you to look directly through the buildings and see the ocean through the southerly homes and the bay through the northerly ones. The interiors are modern and tasteful, but always with a flair lent by pops of cherry red furniture and lamps in shades of sapphire and emerald green and banana yellow. Goosebumps form upon your skin as the temperature has dropped noticeably. You rise from the hammock and feel the weather-worn wooden planks of the deck beneath your bare feet as you walk to the rooftop jacuzzi. You climb the steps with care, dipping in your toe to the bubbling water. Slowly you enter, feeling a mixture of pleasure and hesitation as the water is hotter than you expected. It feels like a free-flowing heated blanket that gives comfort from the night air. As you get cozy in the nook of the jacuzzi, the jets are on full power and find the pressure points in your neck and shoulders and spine, your lower back and the backs of your legs. A mist forms above the hot water that feels cool upon your face as the breeze off the ocean meets your skin. The droplets form upon your lips and eyebrows and you relish the sensation as you inhale the aroma of the salty air. Tiny bubbles form upon the surface of the water as the jets continue to blast and you float along the surface and look to the stars. You see the Big Dipper and Little Dipper and on this rare night there is a comet that outshines them all in a fiery blaze. And as you look into the magical homes you observe people laughing and enjoying one another. In one home, a couple is seated at an elegant table, watching a vintage television show that brings you warm memories. And the island is like a time capsule that has accumulated layer upon layer of memories and experiences, its history palpable and intoxicating. You sense the excitement of the first ships to come upon this natural oasis, occupied by woodlands and overrun with deer. You imagine how simple this island was centuries ago and how it beckoned to those who sought refuge among the bluffs. The rolling hills of sand are visible in the darkness as tall blades of dune grass are illuminated by the light of the moon. And in the 20th century, this island was a haven for those seeking respite from cities and suburbs, hoping to reconnect with a timeless feeling that comes on an island without motor vehicles. You rest your head against the edge of the jacuzzi feeling a release of tension in your body as you close your eyes for but a moment and let go. 
You focus on the sensations of the hot water that covers your body and contrast the cool night's air that blows upon your face. You take in a deep breath as you begin to feel overheated and are ready to exit the bubbling water. You carefully rise, feeling the gentle wind that brings goosebumps to your person, and look around to see the festive enjoyment of the island's inhabitants in neighboring homes and atop roofs. You step out of the tub and wrap yourself in a terry cloth robe that smells of fresh laundry slipping your feet into a pair of flip-flops. You feel a desire to go for a night's walk. You walk across the roof deck to a spiral wooden staircase that juts out over tall bamboo. And you descend down, down, down. Coming to the main level of the home, you pass by a sapphire blue swimming pool that glows in the darkness. A waterfall pours into the pool and is lit by a changing array of colors from purple to pink to green. The walls surrounding the deck are made of Balinese hand-carved wooden panels with intricate lace-like designs. It feels like you are at a spa in Bali. You make your way towards the wooden door that opens onto the boardwalk and follow the wooden planks that are illuminated by foot lamps. One step at a time. You walk along as the bamboo shifts back and forth. You listen as the wood planks creak beneath you and you walk towards the entryway to the beach. The boardwalk curves over a sand dune and brings you to a set of stairs that lead you to the beach. You remove your flip-flops and place them on the deck. It feels freeing to be in a row and not concerned with how you look or what you are wearing as you descend the stairs and the rope billows in the sea breeze. You feel as if you are floating down towards the soft sand as your feet land upon the cool grains and you walk towards the crashing waves. Your body is still warm from your time spent relishing in the hot tub, a perfect sensation to help you acclimate to the air that gets cooler the closer you get to the ocean. You approach the incoming waves as the dry sand becomes wet and feel your toes sink into it. The cool sand fills the crevices between each toe and you wiggle your feet just because it feels nice. You are the only person on the beach walking in the shallow water and you step upon the soft, eggshell-colored foam that gleams in the moonlight. The island is a refuge that makes you feel safe in the stillness, free to walk through the dark of night without worry or fear. You spread open your arms as if you could embrace the starry sky and your heart beams towards the light of the moon. 
You feel the warmth and energy in your heart as the light of the moon shines upon you. You feel the indescribable connection to all that is bigger than you. You are part of this infinite space with problems that are small in comparison and may be absorbed by the sky and the moon as you heal on this magical island where it is impossible to get in your own way. Because without shame, and without judgment, you can be you right now. You continue to walk along the beach that has the slickness and iridescence of oil splayed in the sun. You notice the beachfront homes with windows that reach from floor to ceiling and allow you to peer in and watch people settle down for the night or engage in intimate conversations in their classy beachfront living rooms. You watch the interactions and again feel a sense of community and also this feeling of what it would be like to be invisible as if you could float like an apparition, hovering above the sapphire waves made metallic in the light of the moon, as if you could transport yourself anywhere, like the powers you unlock every night when you fall asleep. In moments of stillness like this, where you are content in the present moment and truly in tune with the now, you cannot help but wonder, is it all just but a dream? And if so, what a beautiful dream it is beneath the Milky Way as the Atlantic Ocean continues to surrender to the direction from the moon. And you bend down and run your fingers through the water one last time before returning to the comforts of home. You feel tired and sun-kissed with your skin still radiating warmth from hours spent basking in the summer's sun. You walk back towards the boardwalk as a white crab scampers across the reflective wet sand before you. You feel again the transition as you walk from the damp packed sand to the soft, dry sand that blows ever so gently against your skin. You come to the stairs, counting each step as you ascend to the boardwalk and grab your flip-flops. The dune grass grows tall along the edges of the wooden planks of the walkway. The boardwalk is like a wave, rising and descending, with the sandy foundation below. Do you feel like you are wafting back towards your home? You arrive at the front gate and feel its smooth wooden handle as you open it and enter. You walk towards a hose and turn it on, spraying with the perfect amount of pressure to clean the sand from your feet 
and legs. You turn it off, looking one last time to the night sky and the perfect portrait of a summer's evening on Fire Island. You walk down the outside deck that overlooks the homes that have now gone dark for the night. You tiptoe and are silent because it feels so intimate to be so close to the homes of other sleeping people. You come to a sliding glass door that from the deck leads to your bedroom and open it. You set down your flip-flops on the floor and close the screen so the sounds of summer may still waft through your bedroom. Sheer white curtains blow in the breeze and you step upon the lacquered stone tiled floor that is cool and smooth beneath your bare feet. A ceiling fan spins at a medium speed and cools the room, bringing a soothing sound that reminds you of the sound of the breeze rustling through the swaying bamboo. The peaked ceiling rises high above a four-poster bed made of painted antique white beams. A soft pajama set in your favorite color and fabric is neatly folded at the end of the bed and you change into it. You hang the robe on one of the wooden beams and peel back the soft white blanket and sheets. The bed frame stands high above the floor and you climb up onto the plush comforts of the foam mattress. The cotton sheets are cool against your skin and you nestle beneath them letting your head sink into the pillows that are in your preferred density. From the bed you view the glittering sea and the yellow moon through the bay windows that face the south. Skylights overhead reveal the blue-black velvety sky and stars that glitter like rhinestones. You feel safe within the four posters of the bed, as if you are in a den for the night. You take in a deep breath and can smell the salty air and clean linen, comforting you as you exhale, finding sleep or surrendering to your imagination in the next bedtime story for grown-ups. Flamingo Island No one really knows the origins of the running catchphrase, but it spread quickly in the modern world. In chaotic times when things felt out of control, someone would casually chide, sounds like you need a trip to Flamingo Island. Caught up in whatever the stressors were, the recipient of this platitude would nod and agree as they said, you're probably right. Flamingo Island was like the song Kokomo, a tropical place mentioned so often that everyone assumed it existed. Yet no one you knew had ever been there, and you had never seen it on a map or encountered a travel brochure that mentioned it. 
in need of escape from winter before the warm reprieve of the summer months. You find yourself in a popular beach town on the Caribbean Sea. Palm trees rustle and offer shade from the white hot sunlight of the afternoon. Small wooden stands painted in tropical colors line the main thoroughfare. They are run by local tour guides, offering sugarcane tours and snorkeling expeditions in glass bottom boats. You dress in light billowing cotton attire that you purchased in a small boutique on a dirt road on the way to your hotel. Your hands and arms smell of tropical lotion that the kind shopkeeper insisted you try. Aromatic with sweet notes of pineapple, mango, and coconut. There is pressure to feel completely content in this island paradise. But you find yourself longing for more. You secretly wish that the salt water air and trade winds would whisk you further away to some place more remote, untouched, and less of a reminder of life back home. You remove your sunglasses from your face and place them on the top of your head. Your eyes reflect the crystal blue waves as you look out onto the sea longingly. You hear the soft chuckle of a local tour guide who remarks on your far off gaze and asks if you would be interested in a tour. You smile politely and reveal that the island is beautiful, but you are hoping to be immersed in more quietude in nature. The island noise from sputtering scooters and honking taxis and day trippers that arrive on cruise ships isn't what you expected when booking this trip. You need to go to Flamingo Island, my friend. There someone goes again with that ridiculous saying you think to yourself. It makes even less sense to hear from someone as you stand on a beautiful island. You offer an obligatory smile, but this man sees right through it. I get the sense that it's the island for you, he says. But it's not a real place, you respond. His face becomes serious as his eyes pour into yours with reverent silence. But it is, my friend. Why don't you believe in Flamingo Island? Your curiosity is aroused as the man walks behind his kiosk and opens a box made of woven palm fronds. He pillages through it until he removes a black leather case and unzips it. He pulls out a photo of himself as a small child surrounded by flamingos in a heavenly setting of silky waters beneath a fiery sky. He explains that the island is sacred and most people only are allowed to go once in a lifetime to preserve the sanctity of the land and to ensure that others have a chance to enjoy it. The locals firmly believe that going once is a gift to behold but trying to return may bring bad luck. Superstitious or not, everyone who goes to the island is given a pass that they may use for themselves or extend to someone else to pay forward the opportunity of exploring the sacred island. This man explains he has held on to this pass since he was a small boy. While on Flamingo Island, he had a dream that one day in the far off future, he would have a travel stand and the right person would show up and he would know. 
He removes a carved piece of a coconut shell engraved with a flamingo and runs his thumb across the sacred past as he has done many times throughout his life as a way to remember. The story warms your heart to you feel a sudden longing for this island. Maybe you need to believe in something magical, that life isn't purely chaos, but despite all logic, you believe him. Before he even says it, you sense that you are meant to go. He places the pass in your hand and says, Timing is everything, my friend. This is for you. The boat leaves in an hour, so pack yourself a bag and head to the end of the dock. I know you are the person I have been waiting for. I can feel it. Goosebumps form on your sun-kissed skin with the electric sensation elevated by a soft, whispering breeze. Your mind recalls times you may have talked yourself out of something you wanted because of fear, because you felt unworthy. But this new friend and this moment will not allow you to do that. He looks at you lovingly, like someone you have known all your life. His eyes light up and his face beams in a smile. You deserve this, my friend. Deep down, you know you do. You hurry back to your hotel and run your fingers over the smooth, shiny coconut shell all the way. The spontaneity of the decision makes you feel alive. It is a reminder that all we ever have is the present moment. You are aware of every breath in and out as you fill a knapsack with clothes, sunscreen, and a few bottles of water. You have no idea what to expect or prepare for. Deep in your bones, you feel that this is right. Your face cracks into an involuntary smile. You're going to Flamingo Island. You return to the main thoroughfare with your bag balanced on one shoulder. You pass by your new friend's kiosk, but he is nowhere to be found. You follow his instructions to the end of the dock to discover three people waiting as a motorboat pulls up. A young college student and a newlywed couple hold a similar past to yours from different eras. As you introduce yourself, the newlyweds reveal that the groom's parents had saved their passes from their honeymoon to pass on as a wedding gift to their son. The college student carries the oldest pass, handed down from her grandfather, who visited the island after serving in the Peace Corps. It delights you to hear the unique stories that bring people to this mysterious island in the Caribbean Sea. The mid-sized boat comes to the dock and the operator is a serene woman with caramel eyes with flecks of gold. She collects the passes and lets everyone know that as soon as the boat departs, everyone is free to leave the past behind them and thrive in the present moment. Flamingo Island is a place for awakening you are encouraged to leave behind all the programming that has come from the external world. Anything that does not resonate with your inner voice and highest self will fade away the closer you get to this enchanting island. 
She says you are welcome to stay for as long as you desire. And this moment may arrive only when you are full of clarity and peace. There are no clocks, limited technology, and no responsibilities beyond taking care of yourself on the island. Balance yourself into the boat as the host extends her calloused hand from a lifetime of boating around the Caribbean. Her confident grip makes you feel safe with a warm exchange of energy that you have not experienced in some time from a total stranger. When you look into her eyes and thank her, your inner voice comes as a gentle whisper. We are all one. We are all connected. The sea is sublime. The waves soft and tranquil. Colorful, spongy, and porous coral in shades of turquoise, sapphire, saffron yellow and purple are visible through the crystal clear water. The ride is hypnotic and your body rocks to and fro when the boat speeds up and circles the main island. The fingers of the newlyweds are intertwined lovingly and being around them stirs feelings of hope and appreciation. Those strangers, you feel happy for this moment in the timeline of their relationship. The college student is shy. Her eyes like saucers that look out onto the sea. She imagines how proud her grandfather would be. But she's finally on her way to Flamingo Island. Sea mist lands on your face and arms, and as it dries in the sun and wind, salt crystals are left on your skin. The droplets offer a cool reprieve from the tropical heat, and you can taste the salt on your lips. The sun lowers towards the horizon of endless cerulean waves. The faint outline of a small island basks in the peachy glow of a setting sun. The boat slows and approaches a hidden narrow inlet beneath a canopy of lush green mangroves. The leaves brush against the side of the boat as you travel to the interior of the island. The passage offers serenity that grows the more you travel away from the vast Caribbean Sea. Shadows of mangrove trees form dark lacy patterns on the turquoise water that leads you to a lagoon. A thick branch points towards the opening of the lagoon like a welcoming hand. A toucan is perched atop the lush tree, as if a gatekeeper that lets you in. Everyone is still and quiet in deep reverence. And while your host has led travelers here for many years, every entrance into the lagoon is different and appreciate it in a new way. You feel the past versions of yourself, the worries and concerns of your modern life, slipping away like water gliding down a sheet of rocks to form a waterfall. Thick, waxy, dark green leaves 
fan out at the entrance and you run your fingers down their cool, glossy surface. As the boat pulls into the lagoon, the overwhelming beauty causes a catch in your breath. The water is like molten glass, a rich magenta hue from the fiery setting sun that pours over the flamingo sanctuary. The magnificent birds pepper the area. Their pink plumage becomes more saturated and vibrant in the glowing sunset. They look otherworldly. In the presence of their beauty, you cannot comprehend the imagination required to create these glorious birds. Their skinny, stilt-like legs balance them in the gently flowing ripples and rich wet earth at the bottom of the lagoon. The signature mango pink feathers come with time. Flamingo chicks that hatched in the spring are awkward in their furry gray-white bodies and thick black legs. They are fed by their parents before nightfall with crop milk. It will take years before they mature into signature rich pink coats and lavender pink legs. The boat slowly floats towards a knotty wooden boardwalk that weaves back towards the beach. The host brings the boat to the dock and you disembark with your fellow travelers. She explains you are free to roam the island as long as you desire and may find refuge in a row of bungalows at the end of the boardwalk. They are stocked with anything you may need, provided by the secret foundation that maintains the island. She gestures to a phone on the dock that you may use to call her should you need anything. You feel alive with this newfound freedom an unexpected change in events. But one new choice can open up a world to those brave enough to take a chance. A world that would otherwise never be seen. In this transcendent location, you choose to continue to open yourself to new possibilities and adventures. A pair of flamingos lovingly groom one another as the female balances on one foot. The graceful statuesque pose awakens you to finding balance within. The other travelers head towards the beach huts while you stay behind to take in the flamboyance. The dozens and dozens of flamingos that come together to represent community and connection. Twenty male flamingos walk together in a sacred dance, like the chorus of a Broadway show their feet quickly scuttle and rise above the water in staccato motions to the same tempo and rhythm before they settle in the heart of the lagoon. These performances are the kind that attracts their mates for life. The sun dips beneath the horizon. The sky is aglow in streaks of amethyst and raspberry pink that reflects in purple and rose gold hues on the water. 
The flamingos appear grander when shadows spread double their length across the colorful water. You bathe in the soft pink hues, blending into the environment and the healing powers of the soothing color. Pink is a color of compassion and love and extends feelings of self-compassion and self-love that ripple through your relaxed body. You sit on the edge of the dock and remove your bag and shoes. You dip your toes into the tepid, briny water and feel a deeper connection with the flamingos. Sharing the rich, nutrient-dense water calms your mind. You imagine being like Rousseau, an artist in a serene lagoon on Flamingo Island, capturing the abundant, mystifying beauty with gentle brushstrokes on a canvas. You imagine your hand moving like the wings of a bird, flying through the air with intention, capturing the grandeur of this moment with your unique spin of a paintbrush. No one may experience this moment the same way as you, and your heart longs to share the experience in some way. You think of the person in your life who most deserves a pass to the island. Thinking of them makes you feel as if they are along with you, appreciating the delicate breeze against your back. And soon, as if in spirit, it seems that they are there too. The waves of pastel and metallic pink light wash over you. You are brimming with so much love and gratitude that your heart feels so big it could pass through your ribcage and float across the sorbet-hued sky. The salty, fertile smell of the water is unique to the lagoon and imprints itself in your mind. Any hint of this aroma in your future will bring you back to the tranquil pinks, the statuesque allure of the flamingos that dapple the lush island in pops of colorful hope. Their ostentatious beauty counteracts all the ugly of the world. Their lush salmon hues offer soul-piercing confirmation that the planet is majestic and arcs towards beauty and all things good. The stages of a flamingo's life inspire patience. It takes time to develop into birds with the grace of ballerinas and feathers and shades of pink lemonade. From the rich muddy soil of a lagoon, the flamingos nourish themselves until their colorful plumage is a reflection of their vivacity and wellness. In this moment, you recognize how all you consume in this life is reflected in the singular body you have. You feel gratitude for all that this body has done for you. You sit in stillness and mirror the flamingos and become so statuesque that a flamingo develops trust and strays from the flamboyance. 
she approaches you until her beady neon yellow eyes and long black and yellow beak are close to your face. Her neck curves and contorts in an S shape to examine you with the same curiosity that you have for her. You study her slender neck, her fluffy body. Feathers seem even more vibrant and varied in shades of pink when she stands this close. She presses her body against your knees and you reach out a palm for her to inspect. With her unspoken permission, you run your hand down her long slender neck and she emits a low gravelly clucking sound. She comes closer as you pet her back softly. She looks into your eyes one more time before she walks towards the shoreline. The sky turns into rich shades of navy blue and purple and a nearly full moon rises and illuminates the lagoon. The light and colors have changed minute by minute since you arrived. And it is only in the state of perceptive stillness that you would have noticed. It makes you wonder how often things change around you in your daily life and go unnoticed. You make a promise to yourself to pay more attention. For how much of this life have you been missing out on? You rise from the dock and carry your shoes and bag, leaving your feet bare to feel the weathered wooden planks of the dock. Feeling a mixture of tiredness and curiosity you head towards the bungalows led by pearly moonlight. Wild orchids reach towards the sky. Their waxy purple, fuchsia, and white petals are lustrous in silver light. The sounds of the clucking and chattering flamingos quiet, and the cicadas and tree frogs warm up for the night. Step by step, you relish each moment of this unexpected journey and magical island. The path leads you to a moonlit beach. The powdery sand is cool and soft beneath your feet. With each step, you kick the sand grains in all directions, and they rain down on the beach in a shimmering spectacle. Palm trees form blue-green silhouettes, and the now dark Caribbean sea is silky and calm, a navy canvas for the twinkling stars and brilliant moon. A row of beachside bungalows emits an orange glow behind the shadowy dunes. You walk towards the unoccupied middle bungalow. Your tired legs bring you to the top of the dune and the sandy path that leads to the front deck of the old dwelling. Updated with solar panels, the tiny homes now offer the benefits of electricity but still feel as rustic as they did a century ago. The college girl sits on her deck and draws a rendering of the beach at night. You wave to her and smile. The newlyweds are out on a walk, celebrating their sacred time together before they skinny dip in the sea. You enter the modest bungalow that has high ceilings and a thatched roof. 
a four-poster bed made of unique driftwood, stands in the center of the lofty space that is kept cool from a cross breeze. The air feels pleasant on your skin. The bungalow is stocked with tropical fruit and food and more necessities than you would have expected. You place down your belongings and continue to explore. The bathroom leads to an outdoor rainfall shower surrounded by orchids. You turn it on and take a shower to wash away the day of travel and the sand on your feet. The rainfall shower head covers your body with massaging droplets of tepid water. You wash your skin with homemade shea butter and coconut soap that reminds you of the shop on the main island and the kind people who helped you get to this unexpected moment. Once done, you wrap yourself in a robe and stand beneath the moonlight. You hear the sound of flapping wings and recognize the flamingo you bonded with not too long ago. With a feeling in your gut, you know that it is her. She soars over the bungalow and beach until you see her majestic silhouette cast against the backdrop of the glowing moon. As she flies, you feel as if you are flying along with her. With a deep sense of freedom that is offered to those who come to explore Flamingo Island. You do not know what tomorrow or the next day will bring. You do not know how long you will stay. But you know you will have the clarity and understanding of your needs and desires to decide when the time is right. All you ever needed was to have this trust because the answers and directions always come in time if you get quiet enough to listen. You return to the bungalow and are ready for a night of deep sleep. The salty air restores you and you yawn as you peel back the cool, crisp cotton sheets on the bed. Climb atop the high mattress and sink into its plush comfort. Your head rests atop the pillows. And for one last time, before you drift to sleep, you remember the colors and stillness of the Flamingo Lagoon. The impressions of this mystical beauty may never be repeated exactly the same. But you may return to it whenever you need to feel calm, hopeful, and inspired. As the ocean waves crash gently on the shore, and as the flamingos sleep beneath the light of the moon, you surrender to sleep and the dreams that await, floating, drifting, surrendering to the wave of soothing feelings and sounds that wash over you on Flamingo Island. And you realize for something to be real, all you need to do sometimes is believe it is so, and it will appear. And in this magical state, you 
you may let go of my voice as the music of crashing waves delivers you to a night of deeply healing slumber. Finding fluidity, finding repose, finding tranquility, finding sleep. It's time to dream away.